A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. Okay, guys. So, this is going to be a tier list for how you would respond as a parent if your child brought this hero home as their partner. Okay, so our categories are S tier, you love them more than your child. A tier, they're punching above their weight, so you're happy. B tier is their appropriate partner, so like, you know, neutral. C tier is, eh, could be worse. And then D tier is, you're genuinely concerned. And then we'll add more as we go, if we need to. Okay, I think S tier. Okay, let, or rather, let's start again. We'll go by the order in the list. We have D.Va. I think you'd be, like, she's punching above the way. Like, she's an international star. Uh, she's famous, rich, very attractive. However, I feel like D.Va is a little bit bratty and wouldn't necessarily do a great job of impressing her partner's parents. But I think she's also a gamer gremlin, so she might not know exactly how to behave, you know? That's my take. Wrecking Ball. Well, I think if your child brought home a, a hamster for a partner, you would show genuine concern. Let's say your child is in their early 20s. Okay, Zarya. Like, would I want my partner, would, my, would I want my child to date a former racist war hero? Ah, could be worse, you know? I wouldn't be like, this is the partner I pick, but it could be worse. Ash, could you not do better? I would go with, could you not do better? Like, I, I'd, I'd look to my child and be like, really? A entitled, spoiled criminal bastion? The thing is, inherently, Omnix would not be a bad thing. However, he is an Omnic with a giant machine gun on his back. And I think that would be a cause of genuine concern. Cassidy, if my child was in their like early 20s, would I want them to date Cole Cassidy? Okay, let's, okay, new rule. The child's age is close to whatever the character's age is, just so that that's out of the equation, okay? I might be like, could be worse. He's a little bit of a deadbeat now, although he's gonna go back and lead Overwatch, but. You know, he's just rolling around in some dirt for a while, just playing with cacti. And, until recently, he was a wanted criminal, so... Echo? Echo would be a pretty good partner. Like, amenable. She's very nice. She's always looking to learn. She's always very accommodating. She's got that, you know, sleek robot look going. She can change into anything you need. You'd be happy that they're punching above their weight. Genji. I feel like Genji's a nice guy. Uh, Again, this is a world where, like... Robots and Omnics are tight, so... Or humans and Omnics are tight, so... His bionicness shouldn't bother a progressive parent. He does have a blade on his back, which is a little bit alarming. But he's got a nice hoodie. But then when you talk to him, he's very pleasant and nice. So I think you'd say appropriate partner. I think I'd be like, you know what? He's actually a rather sweet guy. I'm happy that my child is dating him. Hanzo. He would try to be polite, but he'd probably be a bit awkward at the dinner. You know, like you're having dinner with... Hanzo and your your his partner's parents. I feel like he'd try to be nice, but he'd do a bad job at it. And he's quite broken and, you know, tormented. So I feel like you might be like, could you not do better? Junkrat? I think genuine concern. He robs banks for a living? Exactly. He's a thief and he's proud. I reckon you as his partner would be like, Junkrat, can you please not bring up the fact that you bomb trains and thief for a living? And he would like the literal first thing he'd be like, Oh, I'm Junkrat, and I rob trains for a living. How you doing? May is definite. You love them more than your child. Like, she is just the sweetest little thing. She would be super polite, super accommodating. She's actually normal on, like, the mo majority of the Overwatch cast. Doomfist. Oh, I feel like Doomfist... Oh, boy, I I'm about to say something controversial here. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Add a row above. Doomfist is... You want them for yourself. I feel like Doomfist is like mega alluring, is super hot, and you would not want as a responsible parent your child to be involved with Doomfist because he's, you know, the leader of one of the most influential crime organizations in the world. But damn is he hot. Damn would you want him for a little fling. You would cheat on your spouse with Doomfist. Yeah, he can be involved. It can be behind your spouse's back. I don't care as long as Doomfist is involved, dude. Okay, Farah. I feel like Farah is very nice, although a little bit of attitude come through in Overwatch 2. But I feel like she's largely a very nice gal. Slightly dangerous job, which might knock her down a tier. But I think maybe punching above their weight. Reaper? Genuine concern. Genuine concern. The guy sat at the dinner table with his mask on, just being like, Pass the peas. Just doesn't say anything. Stares at you blankly. Sojourn. Look like a very cozy partner. When you find out that she was she was part of Overwatch, one of the leaders of the organization, you'd be a little bit 
shrugery, you know, and say, you know what, she seems like a sensible lady, so sure, she can date my child. Soldier 76, I think absolutely could, could you not do better? War monger, who just like runs around being cranky all day. Yeah, nah. Sombra, oh boy. You want them for yourself. Just because she's just, she's a bit, you know, spicy. She's attractive, but she's, you know, got all this kind of manic hacker thing going on. Summer would be an annoying daughter-in-law. She would be a very annoying daughter-in-law. She'd just be constantly invading your privacy. I think you'd go with you want them for yourself. I'm going to put that below this tier, though. Symmetra. I mean, I think she's probably, like, an appropriate partner. Because she's... Hmm, she's actually quite, again, ignoring any, like, potential for her to be fighting in the field. She's attractive. She has a very good job, but she do be a corpo bootlicker, so she do be rich. I'll go with punching above their weight. That kind of reflects poorly on my child. What if my child's also rich, but still, uh, just creeps into punching above their weight. Torbjorn, this is a tough one. Man's, man comes with like eight babies already, so there's a lot of like management for my child there. Plus, can you imagine having Torb as your son-in-law? I feel like it'd be quite odd. Torb would adopt you in the process. He goes in the option of drinking buddy. He would he would be handy around the house for DIY, but you're not really getting the benefit of that. I'll go with eh, could be worse. Tracer. I think Trace is very sweet. She's very nice. She'd be very like very, very good. I I personally find Tracer annoying, but I think a generic parent would say this girl is you love them more than your child because she's very sweet. She'd be very deferential to you as a as the parent. Widowmaker. Definitely you want them for yourself. Definitely a I don't know if I want my child to be with an emotionless assassin, but I know I want to be. Anna. I feel like Anna would be potentially charming, but potentially annoying. Yeah, I don't know if Anna would care to impress her partner's parents. I feel like she'd be she'd be charming, but she wouldn't necessarily go go above and beyond. I think I might just be like appropriate partner. Junker Queen. You want them for yourself. Again, there's a very there's a very consistent theme here, which is that they're they're really not a great partner for your child, but they hot. But they hot, so you can you can you vouch for the fling. Bap. Bap is so charming, and he always flirts with you. But because he's such a like nice guy and a, and a generally like he's genuinely such a homie, that you wouldn't cross the line with him, and I don't think he would cross the line with you. I don't think Bap would cheat on his partner. Brig. I think I would love Brig more than your child. Yeah, Brig is very nice. She's very sweet. Yeah. Does so, like I would be a bit questioning of her desire to run around the world with Reinhardt, but she'd be very nice and she's very attractive. So Kiriko, uh, she's a very like nice person. So I think maybe love them more than your child. I think she'd get along good with you. You know, I think she'd make a good effort to, to sort of be kind to you as the parent. Lucio, I mean, he's he's a rich DJ, famous around the world. So. I'm gonna assume my child isn't a global music star. In which case, I'm probably already thinking that they're punching above their weight. Mercy. Mercy would be very sweet. I think you'd you'd love them more than your child. I think Mercy would be right up here. I think maybe something like this. She's very sweet. She's very nice. She's a doctor. She's committed to like helping people. She's also like a genius, let's not forget. She's like really giga smart, so Moira. Now, how murderous do you think Mora would be when you meet her for dinner? Mora's fine. She's just like, you know, having her charming conversation because she's quite smart and stuff. And, you know, she's, she's like a sophisticated person. But then, at some point in the evening, talk about like something vaguely contentious. And that's when she would drop like one of them hot takes of like, I think we should chop up more humans for experimentation and then you'd be like genuinely concerned. Zenyatta. Zenyatta's a nice guy. He's a monk. He's very chill. He's zen. No pun intended. I feel like maybe appropriate partner just because he's not really gonna like, he's not gonna light the world on fire for you as a parent. But you'd be like, yeah, okay, you go for it. Orisa. She's quite nice, although a little bit scary now in Overwatch 2. She's a little bit intimidating. I feel like she'd be sweet, but maybe what at one point in the evening she would say something a little bit intimidating. Like, she would say something that's a bit like... You'd be like, oh damn, there's a, a fly buzzing around here. And she'd be like, I will murder the fly for you. 
Or she just like throws her javelin, impales the fly to the wall, but also like breaks that wall down. And she'd be like, oh, sorry. And you'd be like, ha 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 ha. I guess it's okay. Maybe like could be worse. Ramatra, warning for yourself. Don't know if my human child should be dating a, an anti-human, but I kind of want to spin. Kind of want to spin for myself. Reinhardt, uh, he's quite jolly. He's a fun loving guy. He's very sweet. A little bit clumsy though. Like a little bit of a... Reinhardt's a bit of a himbo. I guess I'd be happy for my child that they were happy with the himbo, you know? Would you love him more than your child? Actually, you know, I think maybe you would. Because I reckon Reinhardt would be a real, real, like, barrel of laughs around the dinner table. Roadhog. Because there is a sweetness to Roadhog. As much as he's a scary, masked murderer dude, he's also a little bit of a, he's got the little plushies, you know? He's a little bit sweet, deep down. I would start with genuine concern, but being the parent, I have to spend the dinner with him. And over the course of the dinner, I might be a little bit more warmed up to him. A little bit sweet enough that I would just be like, could you not do better? I think he's got more to him than just a scary mask. You know, you gotta look past the scary mask. Okay, Sigma. I mean, he's a very sweet guy, but you know, he's got some real demons he's fighting. Some real inner demons he's fighting. You'd be worried that he'd just tear your house into a black hole. Winton. Yeah, so the French woman in Zero Hour was alarmed by Winston. So it isn't normal to have a talking monkey. Therefore, I would be genuinely concerned. Although, like Winston is a homie. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know if bestiality is the thing we're condoning in the, in the 20, 20, whatever, 2067 Overwatch world that we live in. So I might be genuine concern, you know, like similar to Hamter. And there we have it. How I would respond if my child brought home this Overwatch hero as their partner. Sorry, Winton.